Hey, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to answer a question from a, a client who asked this. Dr. Berg, I'm trying all these diets. I'm eating healthy. I'm exercising. It's still not working. What do I do? Help. Okay, so we're going to answer that question. All right, so let me, let me just, I'm going to use my book here. Here's a section. We're going to turn the chapter, let me turn the chapter in, Nine, which has to do with the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers, page 116. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. How can I put this? This is probably the most important thing I can tell you, and no one does this. In fact, you're not going to find this on the internet at all. You can do a Google search, you're not going to find it. There's just way too much information, and it's so buried, you'll never find it. Um, so if you're multitasking right now, if you're checked out, I want 100% of your attention because this thing, I want you to ingrain this in your brain and write it down, but I never want you to forget this. In fact, if I tell you this, you have to promise not to tell anyone this. Okay, it's just between you and me and the four walls. Now, I'm just doing this to get your attention because a lot of times people aren't fully 100% listening when it's very, very important. This thing is the most important thing. You ready? All right. So there's two things or two situations that anyone can do. Number one, they can do certain things. And number two, they can not do certain things. So we have doing and not doing. All right, and I'll explain. So these two actions, like avoiding certain things, these are not equal. Not doing certain things is at least 80% more important than doing certain things. So the single most important action is to put most of your time, effort, and energy into avoiding certain things and it's the first trigger and this is the absence of sugar so let me kind of give you a, an illustration here I did a seminar at curves once and I'll never forget um, it was a great seminar I had it was packed all these people there they loved it they were they were having sudden realizations they were clapping applauding and um, giving a lot of great information until halfway through this lady raises her hand and she said, Dr. Berg, this is very interesting, but how do we know you're not a quack? And I'm like, excuse me, what? I like how she said it because she said, how do we, like she's speaking for the group. So all my attention from that one little comment went on this lady for the rest of the seminar, I completely got rid of any positive thing from any person because that one little negative thing destroyed all the positive things that I was getting from that seminar. So really, it's the little things that make, that can destroy a lot of good. There are six fat burning hormones and there are three fat making hormones, but we're just going to talk about two of them right now. These two hormones, one is called cortisol and the next one is called insulin. Okay, This is triggered by sugar, and this is triggered by stress. All right. If these are in any small amounts in your body, it will dominate and crush and destroy all the good stuff that you're doing. These are things you have to avoid. <laughs> these are the things that you have to trigger. So if you're eating good, and you're exercising, and you're sleeping, and everything is great, and you're like 99% there, but you have too much of this or too much of this, you're not going to see results, especially if you're in your 50s. Now, maybe it would work if you're 18 because your hormones are working, but not as the, um, you get a little bit older. So the most important thing to do is spend more time reducing your body stress, okay? Doing things to reduce stress, doing things to sleep more, doing things to avoid stressful situations. Um, and also doing things to avoid sugar. Spending more time preparing your meals for the week so you don't end up with Wednesday no food and 
and have to eat some sugar. Uh, avoiding certain parties and things that you know there's going to be sugar in there, or maybe eating before you came uh, to the party, just to avoid this. So it's much, much more important to eliminate cravings and prepare for um, the day so you don't end up craving than it is to eat healthy. Because I have this, this attitude that goes around there. It's kind of like, um, Dr. Berg, I want to eat what I want, but I'll just exercise harder to burn off more calories. That won't work. Or um, everything in moderation. You know, if I do it a little bit, it'll, it'll be fine. But see, the, they don't know the, the importance of this versus that. They're putting way more attention on things they have to do, and they're not putting up attention on these two things, okay? So that is the secret of how to lose weight when nothing works, okay? As far as shift your attention and your focus on this, and I promise you will be way more successful. I hope that helped.